as the craft project closes, the impact is clear. Hundreds of thousands of farmers and businesses across East Africa are now better equipped to face the challenges of climate change. What I, I have really realized and appreciated from this project is that now farmers are practicing sustainable land management. That one I can see. Farmers are now aware that once I use a better seed, I'm not like someone who has just used the home saved seed. The record keeping has improved. Uh, the way they are sorting, yeah? even the market, farmers are appreciating now we have market because they have, uh, there is a name more in the place. So now farmers have the ready market for their potato. Farmers used to go to the market and buy anything. But with our trainings, farmers know that seed is supposed to be bought and in a specific place, not just in the open market. Right now they have access to weather information because we have other different service providers whom we directly link them uh, to the farmers and farmers are able to get these information. We have other services like for example soil testing. Uh, this helps farmers to make informed decisions. So Craft was able to, to, to together with us to uh, purchase the lab. In fact it is a mini lab and in that mini lab is where we do other tests before the UNBS comes in. At least we are able to tell is, really, is our oil really fitting what the UNBS wants from us? So that if there are errors, we can correct them before the UNBS comes. And sometimes if they come and maybe what they are saying is different from what we, are, we have seen from the lab, we are able to tell where is the problem and what is that that needs to be corrected. By 2022, Kraft had helped over 81,000 hectares of farmland become more resilient to climate shocks. Through continued investments in agribusinesses, farmers and climate science, Kraft is creating a sustainable food system for future generations. Promoting sustainability, you have to deal with younger people also. Each training, we involve with them. And when, it, when we each demo, or 50 days, we involve with them. Exchange visas, so they also get adopted because they also benefit. Say for example, when you are sharing the profits from after the sales, they also like it. And many people are registering. As I talk, we have over 1,000 members who have applied to become a member in this group. The farmers we have trained, mostly our key farmer trainers, are able to continue with the knowledge that we have given them. But in our system, the extension staff is able to keep following up with the farmers that have been trained and also keep encouraging them to continue in the same line and not to divert to other practices. But also we have encouraged the district since for them they have that arm of extension to continue following up with the farmers we have trained such that they don't completely forget the information they have got from us but also continue connecting direct with the other partners who maybe share the same line of thinking with us. And being a cooperative, we make sure we try to satisfy the farmers the way we can. For example, if we give them seed, we should be able to buy back from them such that they don't get demoralized and maybe decide to maybe go back to other crops or decide to keep selling to Mukwano. Me personally, I'll continue following what craft has passed on us so that I see income comes. Because when you go back again, you'll go to zero again. But this craft project has opened our minds on it. Life is changing. We have opened up different enterprises through the craft. It has opened our minds and there is aspect of div diversifying the enterprises. I have the rabbit, uh, rabbit farming, I do rabbit farming here. I have the apiary section, the other side. I'm also conserving water. From, in fact, let me say, from the time it started raining in the first season, my, my, my family has never lacked water. But the journey doesn't end here. The lessons learned and the innovations developed through craft will continue to inspire change across the continent ensuring that agriculture remains a source of resilience, growth and opportunity. For me, I am praying to see 
our farmers are becoming well of all if God wishes. And we are praying if, if we are getting this seed, I will encourage my, my fellow farmers to plant this seed because it will lift them. Together, we are building a climate resilient future, one that ensures food security, improves livelihoods, and protects the environment for generations to come. The Craft Project, empowering East Africa's farmers and businesses to build a resilient future. Learn more at snv.org.